Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. This is Big Girl Diary. Okay. <laughs> Look, you can't make this stuff up. I got to say, across the pond. Yes, across the pond. It seems like that that there is a shakeup in royal reporters. They are losing their jobs. Yes, the royal family, they are outsourcing reporting their news. <laughs> you can't make it up. Look, now before I go any further, I just want to make sure that I'm not losing it. Now, Richard Palmer recently lost his job as being a re uh, a royal reporter. He'd been a royal, royal reporter since the dinosaurs roamed. But what I thought was quite interesting was uh, Richard Palmer and Andrew, formerly known as Prince Andrew, look so much alike. Hey, don't believe me. No, no, no. Look at this. This right here is Richard Palmer. Just a cheesing. Cheesing is an American term for smiling. Cheesing. Okay. And this right here is Prince Andrew cheesing. You can't tell, you can't wait a minute. You can't tell me they don't look alike. Now, it would surprise me if Prince Andrew wanted to take his identity to report on his family. <laughs> look, he has some acts, he has acts to grind. Yeah. He's still mad at his brother for making him live in a shack. Yes, after that big fiasco. Yes, yes, yes. But look, Richard, Rich, check this out. Look who's taking over your job. Not only Richard, but um, Catherine Tinsley, your job is coming up next. This is Catherine. Yes, she does hit pieces on the Sussexes. I mean, just... She'll find anybody and they just say anything negative and then she writes it and then she gets paid. Look, I understand that you have a gig, people paying you, the royals paying you to put out hit pieces on a Sussexes. But now, guess who's taking over? Like I said earlier, they're outsourcing it. Yes, this guy here, Adam Mono, over here in the US working for the Daily Beast. He's a freelancer now. Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't make this up. He took your job. He took your job. Because apparently you all weren't getting that real hit. They want that real hit. They, they want that one-two knockout. Like this. You got to square up. You got to. Yeah. You weren't doing it. You were doing this. They want the real stuff. So let me give you a little sample of what Adam's model's work is. I mean, he's really hitting, he's hitting below the belt. He's giving those little rabbit punches and a, a hitting, you get a kidney shots. Yeah, you weren't doing that. Look, you, you can't be polite and be evil at the same time. You got to choose one. Right there is like this. Having your cake, eating it too, and not gaining weight. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. So, now you're going to have Adam Mono, U.S., an American. He's going to show you some things. You're not going to like this. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you can't make this up. You can't. Oh, my goodness. You can't make it up. Here it is. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. American turns on scandalous Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Not going to work out. Now, that right there, that is a headliner because it grabbed me. I'm like, what? What's going on here? I got to say, it grabbed my attention. I'm like, what's going on here? And I wasn't even looking for it. I was going to do a video on something else. I said, oh, 
Oh, okay. So let's get into it. All right, that's better. Okay. Now here, an exclusive. The U.S. have been more sympathetic to the couple, but the tides may be turning, which it isn't. He's just trying to get paid. <laughs> That's it. Look, 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 look. Just, just understand this. Look, 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 look at me. He's just trying to get paid. Just like the ones across the pond putting out all that negative stuff. They're just trying to get paid and pay their bills. Uh, this right here is a squabble, a family fight that the Sussexes was like, look, I'm, I'm tired of fighting with you. You can fight by yourself. We are going to go over here and live our lives, but that's not what they want to do. They want to continue fighting, but the Sussexes are not giving them any, any energy. And because the Sussexes are not giving them any energy, now they're starting to fall apart. So now they have to outsource the work to continue on the fight. It's just, that, that's all that it is. It's no, no, it's no more than that. No more than that. So then he goes on to say, America, okay, everybody has uh, officially changing his residency to the United States. So that's what he's supposed to do. He lives over here. He has to be legal within his country. Look, do you want, do you want Prince Harry to run across the border like an illegal alien? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Harry, <laughs> Prince Harry, <laughs> that would be hysterical if you were to cross the border like that to come to the U. You would embarrass. <laughs> oh, your dad, King Charles, he would be beyond humiliated. Now, look, if you like somebody says Princess Meghan is bringing down a monarch. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> If Harry, Prince Harry, were to run across the U.S. border and then claim an asylum that he, that he's being persecuted, he can't go back to his country. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that would bring down a monarch. Oh my goodness! The humiliation would be irreparable. Oh man. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, man. Look, <laughs> let me get a little agua on that one. <laughs> I have a wild imagination. <laughs> I had too much coffee today. All right. That, that would bring down a monarchy. Okay. The humiliation, all the other, uh, <laughs> the, Sp uh, the king of Spain were like, hey, uh, Charles. What are you doing to your son? <laughs> you would have <laughs> Prince Max of Liechtenstein, a cousin. Uh, what's wrong with you? What's going on? Tell your boy stop fighting. They're making us all look bad. Why is Harry running across the, the river, the Rio Grande, <laughs> to seek asylum and coming through like an illegal alien? Okay. <laughs> okay. Look. He's doing it legally. Come on. This is this is silly. I mean, you don't know, look. Um, Adam Mono. <laughs> I could I could poke holes in this thing all day long and 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 just make fun of you because this is ridiculous. You didn't even do a good job. Lord, they're going to fire you. You better up your game. Just a thought. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. So, so um, the pair sought refuge in California in 2020. Just right at the time, just right at that time, he could have said, okay, hey, um, honey, look, Megan, I'll be right back. I'm going to go down to the border. I'm going to run across and I'll be right back up because Biden's letting anybody in. Anyone can come in. Anyone. Okay. And then I could get back at my family for being so terrible. Okay. 
I may make a video just solely on that right there. Uh, the print stresses that the UK will always be home, but the new record shows uh, he now considers himself a full-time U.S. resident. Yes, full-time. He'll be paying taxes full-time. He'll be doing all of that full-time. Okay? Mono. <laughs> oh, well, you can't make this stuff up. You do, truly can't. Okay, but he's already getting a lot of scandal for being, I'm sorry, they're already getting um, a lot of great uh, scandal for being the way they are. Well, how are they? I mean, come on, you're, you're just, they want privacy. Yes, yes, look, look, again, Adam, they are private citizens over there, when they were working royals, they were public citizens, okay? Here, he's no longer a public citizen. They left. They put in their uh, two-week notice. Yes, gave them their white slip. Two-week notice. They left. They're over here now. So they are private citizens. Oh, man. You, you... Like I said, I could do this all day long. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Here in America, it is different from the UK. They're not going to get the privacy you think they're going to get. Um, they, they can. They can. Um, the, the US has usually been more sympathetic to the glamorous couple than uh, the UK with approval ratings that are bearing that out. Uh, uh, no. Look. Again, look. Keep in mind. Keep in mind. Adam Manos is getting paid. The royals are paying, allegedly, allegedly, that they're paying him to write this article. He's a freelance writer. So, if they can give, if he can give enough bad press to put out there in the ether Okay. Um, Prince William, you might want to fire him. Okay. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. All right. Most Americans who spoke with the Daily Express U.S. feel that Harry should face consequences um, if it reveals that he had lied on his visa application about his rug use and just the fact that I can't put the D in front of it speaks volumes that our freedom of speech is dwindling quickly. Huh. Which he wrote about openly in his best-selling memoir, Spare. Now, okay, we all know that when you write a book, now if Prince Harry were to write a book about his day-to-day, -day, what he does as a royal, no one would buy it. It would be a boring read. Boring, okay? Boring. Add a little spice to it, okay? Okay, Adam? So now the U.S. is taking the book. Look, if that were... A, okay, look, look, look. Okay, I'm not going to go there. Now, the U.S., is saying, oh, well, you lied on your application, Harry. In your book, you said this. He wants to sell books. But I wonder how much um, the, the, what is it, the uh, Duke of Wales or the Prince of Wales, how much he had to do with that to say, hey, um, hey, look, former colony, check this out. My brother wrote this, uh, and look on his visa application, give him some problems because, uh, you know, he's having too much shine over there. I need to shine. Now, you see, the Sussexes are taking away from us over here. So we need the attention that they're getting. So we got to take it away from them. Okay? That's all that this is. Okay. 
I don't think that it sh- I don't think that, that they should be above the law. I think that they should be accountable for what he did or what he I'm sorry, what he did if he did it. Now here, if he did it, you know that that's how you sell your book. Just like just like Adam. Adam, check this out. Just like as you're writing this article, <laughs> right? You're pulling stuff out of the sky and you're putting stuff together. You take a little bit of here and a little bit of here and you put a whole lot of filler in there. You you, you, you want to sell your work. You want to get paid. You get paid by the clicks online. And also you're going to get paid from prints. Um, let me see what direction. Let me see. This right here is. Okay, that way. Over there in England, that way. Yeah. You want them to pay you too. You have to shooting yourself in the foot. Silly. But it goes on, it goes on. So I'm not even going to fool around with that anymore. But now I want to show you something. Now look, you're going to see the difference. Look, okay. Megan... Prince Harry and Princess Meghan, they always hold hands. Now, that right there is a very American thing. Okay, in case of you don't know, many Americans are touchy, touchy, feely, feely people, right? We hold hands, we hug, and we hug all people. It's just a part of our culture. Now, I know over there in the UK, it's different. I think some people might be touchy, touchy, feely, feely, but from what I see, I don't know the Royals. I haven't broken bread with them. Don't know, but I know what I see, what they present and what Harry or, but I'm sorry, but what Princess Megan said is that she thought that they were like that in public. She said, not only are they like that in public, but they're also like that in private. So what you see out there is exactly what you get behind closed doors. They don't touch, they don't hold hands. They don't do that. But if you see Megan, um, Prince Harry and Princess Megan, if you see them in their home life, they're very hands on. And um, that's a good thing. Touching, right? Touching, holding your children like Princess Diana was very touchy, touchy, feely, feely. And that was a great thing. I'm glad that seeped into Harry. I don't know much about William. He he seems to be too stiff. He's not loose. Okay. (laughs) All right. Let me see. Which one do I want to do? Okay. Fair use. Uh Let me turn off the uh, volume. Okay, now this right here is from the royal royal family. Now this right here is Prince Harry and Meghan coming out of the car. Fair use. YouTube, YouTube, fair use. Um, Also, uh, Prince William and Prince... Princess Kate supporters, um, yeah, you too. Fair use. Now this right here, oh, she look. They look beautiful, or they look. He looks handsome, and she looks beautiful. Okay, now this right here was one of their um, last, uh, did I show that? Okay, this right here was was one of their last um, royal duties before they turned in their two-week notice. And you're going to see that they have um, a fan base. Now, for some reason, it is... Um, I would say propaganda 
to put out there that everyone in the UK hates the Sussexes. And that simply isn't true. That right there is propaganda and it should be taken with a grain of salt like this. Let it go. Like, or as we said back in our New York days, get the dandruff off my shoulder. Okay. Brush it off. Oh, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Let me. Okay. Okay, fair use, fair use again. I thought I was showing it and. Okay, they got out of their car. This is people that are applauding for them. And I'm not sure where they were going, but. This right here is one of their last um one one of their last uh as I said earlier um royal duties before they before they left but let me move it up a little bit so this is them coming in Now it looks like that the people there are generally genuinely happy to see them, but except for her, <laughs> she's like, I have to be here. <laughs> and her, <laughs> he's giving a side eye. He's giving a stink eye. Him. <laughs> Look, he's like, oh God. Oh, why me? He's giving a straight stink eye. Why me? Look at her like, ugh. Uh. <laughs> All right, and let me go through this real little towards. Okay, I can't play the music. But now, as they leave. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, there was one that I want to show you. Uh, it was showing booing, booing them. Half half were uh, applauding, and the other, and there were some people booing. But it is what it is. But it it's they're paid opposition. And uh, for you, uh, I have a picture of um, William, Prince William deciding how he wanted to wear his hair. So men wore their hair like this back in the 90s, early 2000s to where they have like the rugged, their hair, a little messy, messy hair look, looking rugged, good looking. Mm. So this is... Prince William's hair style. Yep. He was looking for the rugged look. <laughs> but, oh my God, I'm just, I'm just picturing Harry swimming across the Rio Grande while everybody else are holding hands, going across the river with the um, coyotes. <laughs> helping him across. He's going to be swimming across like this. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> and run. <out. laughs> oh my good. That. That. Uh, that would be funny. That would be funny. But on that note, man, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. I know. 
Prince William and Prince, Princess Kate, <laughs> their support is going to really come and get me. They try to take my channel down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. But it didn't work. It didn't work. But please like, subscribe. That is for free. If you don't like it, like, dislike, subscribe, and then tell me why you don't like it. But don't be a free hater. That don't don't hate for free. Like like I had to tell one of the um, uh, Prince Prince William and Princess Kate supporters. Um, look, no one likes a a a, a free hater. OK, because then you won't get the recognition that you were craving. So you need to apply to be a hater. Stop doing it voluntarily and thinking that you're going to get recognition because you don't. You don't. Poor thing. You didn't even know that. But on that note, thank you for stopping by. <laughs>